This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Monday, June 5th, 2017. Euro dollar. So the euro continues to extend its run of 2017 highs, and the market is now within a stone's throw of testing that August 2016 peak at 113.67 further up. So expect the run to extend towards that medium term resistance over the coming sessions. Any setbacks that we do see uh, on a short term basis should be very well supported ahead of 111, with only a break back below recent support, which comes in at 111.10 to take the immediate pressure off the top side. But overall, this is a market that remains confined to an uptrend and only a break back below recent support that we saw all the way down by 108.40 would compromise the constructive outlook for euro dollar. Sterling dollar. So cable has been consolidating above some important previous resistance now turned support in the 127.75 area. That had been at some resistance that had capped gains for several months off the, the plus 30 year low that we'd seen in October 2016 at 118.40. At this point, while there is risk that we see additional declines, they're only viewed as corrective with the shift back above 27.75, a significant structural shift that now opens the door towards a measured move at 135 over the coming days and weeks. Any setback should be supported in 125 area with only a break back below 123.60 to compromise the constructive outlook for sterling dollar. Dollar yen. So overall, dollar yen pressure remains on the downside with the market focused on a potential retest of the recent 2017 low from April, just ahead of 108. At this point, it would take a break all the way back above 114.37 to compromise this bearish outlook for dollar yen. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss has rallied up in recent weeks, but the market has been capped below a psychological barrier at 110. And while the market holds below that psychological barrier, the overall pressure does still remain on the downside with risk for deeper setbacks and an acceleration back towards the 2017 low and a major base just ahead of 106. Only back above 110 would compromise this bearish outlook for Euro Swiss. Aussie dollar. So Aussie has seen a nice little bounce in recent trade, but overall, this is a market that's showing signs of topping out on a medium term basis. And any rallies that we do see over the coming session should be very well capped, ultimately below 76.11 in favor of continued downside back towards some key support from December of 2016 at 7160. Only back above 76.11 would compromise the bearish outlook for Aussie dollar. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has seen some setbacks over the past several days with the market pulling back from 2017 highs just shy of 138 that we saw in early May. But overall, this is an uptrend that we're seeing here and setbacks should be supported in favor of the next major upside extension above 138 and towards what could be the next measured move extension to the 142 area. At this point, it would take a break back below 132.20 to compromise this constructive outlook for Dollar CAD. Kiwi dollar. So the recent break above some key resistance around 71 is a significant short term development as it takes the immediate pressure off the downside. But overall, this doesn't negate the broader downside pressure and topish outlook for Kiwi dollar with the market merely consolidating now above 71 potentially and pushing p perhaps a little bit higher before once again being expected to roll back over. Ultimately, any rallies from here should be well capped ahead of 73 with a break back below recent support that was seen right around the 7035 area to strengthen this outlook and accelerate declines. If we do see a break above 73, that would compromise the bearish outlook for Kiwi dollar. SPX 500. The S&P 500 has continued with its push to fresh record highs. The most recent break that we saw above 2400 was a significant breakout as it ended a period of consolidation that we had seen between 2400 and 2320 with the break open an 80 point measured move extension. Given that 2400 to 2320 move from high to low, the breakout projects that 80 point extension, which takes us up to the one to the 2480 area. At this point, only back above 2320 would compromise a highly constructive constructive outlook for the S&P 500 on a short term basis, we would need to see a break back below 2400 at a minimum to take the immediate pressure off the top side. Gold. So gold continues with its constructive outlook with the market putting in higher lows and higher highs. Most recently setbacks were very well supported in the 1215 area and a higher low is now sought out in that area to be confirmed on a break above the 2017 high at 1296, which will expose the next major upside extension to 1375, the 2016 peak further up. Only back below 1215 would compromise the constructive outlook for gold.